on, on a more serious note uh, about Ali, I suppose with all of us, when we become parents ourselves, it kind of starts a whole new and different relationship with our own parents and we kind of understand them a bit better. And of course the grandchildren bring us all close together. And you did have that with your mom Louise, didn't you, when Ollie was born? Yeah, very much. Um, Ollie was, was born um, April 2013. And yeah, I suppose w once you have a baby, then you kind of realize wow, this is such a massive deal. And I suppose it kind of makes you respect, especially your mum, I think, in terms of what, you know, they have done for you. It's kind of, I think up until I had my own child, you didn't fully appreciate what, you know, what they've done for you. And it was only then once I had him, I kind of went, whoa, like that was, it's a big thing to become a mum. Mm. And, and the, the sad thing then is that you only got a year and a half of that new phase. And yeah, then, um, unfortunately. Um, yeah, my mum died very suddenly, only last November. So, um, yeah, it was just very out of the blue, very unexpected. And even now talking about it, it doesn't feel real. It just feels like I haven't seen her in a while. Yeah. And actually, that, as the months go on, it actually gets harder. Yeah, I think if I had kind of sat here four weeks after she passed away, I would be able to kind of sit here and be very... Uh, together but now I'm like you know sitting here t really trying to compose myself because it just gets harder and harder as the as the weeks go on you know you realize that person isn't here anymore really and is it do you think were you in a lot of shock when it happened initially is and totally. that kind of insulates you a bit or something you're you're in complete shock especially I think when someone dies suddenly like no way is easy to go um, when when someone has cancer and you know they're gonna go um, Obviously, that's, that's horrendous as well. You know, I've had friends that have gone through that, and that's appalling. Um, I suppose I just feel completely robbed that I didn't get to say goodbye to my mum. So it's, it's really tough. Yeah. Does it change your perspective on things when... Because, like, both my parents are live, hang out, and, but you, you're now kind of the adult, aren't you? Yeah, your totally. Um, it changes your perspective on everything. It kind of... It makes you feel... Um, you know, don't be such a coward in, in loads of ways, you know, in terms of, um, like I'm doing so much work-wise at the moment that I kind of wouldn't have the confidence to have done maybe two years ago. Um, I suppose it kind of makes you feel like life, life's too short to be sitting back kind of waiting for something to happen or, you know, waiting to go on that holiday, waiting to push yourself to do the job. Um, it really, it re without sounding cliche, it just it really puts everything into perspective and just kind of makes you go, just live the life you want to live and absolutely go for it because it can just be snapped up and, and gone overnight. Like, I spoke to my mum one day about going shopping and the next day I get a call to say she, she's been found dead. Like, it's just, it's that stark and things can just change in an instant. Yeah. Well, listen, you're, you're, you're doing very well six months into it anyway to be, Thank be able you. to talk about it. Thank and you. It was lovely talking to you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Brandon. Comments.